Hello gamers! You've clicked on this video to learn a thing or two about Skyblock, and you've come to the right place. But before that, you should learn a thing or two about the sponsor of this video, Mindtree. They've just kicked off Season 2 of their Orhan game mode, and it's basically what it was before, except better in every single way. There's a really cool custom texture pack with extremely detailed models, and this really makes me happy, they finally added a fishing rod model. Look at this thing, look at me go! Oh yeah, I might have fished for way too long. I also learned a lot about marine biology whilst fishing. Never knew Atlantic salmons looked like this. There's even an AFK area for you to stand in whilst you're, uh, I, I don't know, researching Atlantic salmons on Google or something. You know, I'm starting to think that they don't actually look identical to Minecraft Guardians. They've also expanded the endgame with a brand new prestige mine. In fact, there's so many more features that I can't possibly mention them all here so you'll have to explore them yourself with the IP on screen now. Anyways, let's begin with a few financial tips. You've probably noticed this already, but the auction house will sometimes not allow you to list items below a certain price. This is always due to the NPC sell value of the item you're trying to list being higher than what you're trying to list it for. For example, you can't list ghostly boots for lower than 77,777 coins, because you can sell them to NPCs for that exact amount. So basically, items like these are best sold to NPCs. Some of them are even bizarre items, such as the Null Atom. Another example of this is the Megalodon Pet. You can insta-sell it to uh, George, I think his name is, for 500k if it's epic and 2.5 million if it's legendary. I will not be doing that, however. I treasure my baby sharks dearly. You know how there are taxes on items you sell in the auction house, right? Well, one of these only applies if the item you're selling is over 1 million coins in value. Because of this, you will actually get more from selling an item for 1 million coins than for 1.01 million coins. At least I thought you did, but apparently this thing lied to me. Turns out it doesn't tax you for 1% if the tax would make the profit go below 1 million. So you actually get the same from selling an item for anywhere between 1 million and 1.01 million coins. Thanks, Skyblock. Now for a few Crystal Hollows tips. The glass blocks actually give a decent bit more gems than the glass panes do. So make sure you prioritize the blocks when mining. I've said this many times already, but somehow there's still many people who don't know it. With the exception of the fairy grotto, the different biomes in the crystal hollows always spawn in the same coordinate ranges. On screen now are all of them. Similarly, the chests that spawn in the crystal hollow structures contain the same loot for everyone. So if you find a good one, make sure to say the chords to it in chat. It'll make people happy, and happiness is good. If you're struggling with the jungle right. temple parkour, both a Wither Cloak Sword and a Black Cat Pet will help you tremendously, with the former giving you a shield and the latter boosting your speed. Before we get to the dungeon section, here's a bonus tip. You know that red rectangular button that's staring at you menacingly? I feel like you should click it, along with making the like button happy and maybe commenting something if you've got any interesting tips that I missed. Ok, dungeons. The Midas Room is a complete meme. All you need to do in order to clear it is blow up the tomb. You don't even need to kill King Midas. It's time everyone, submit your Midas room clear speedruns. We will revolutionize speedrunning forever. When you die in dungeons you can actually revive yourself, as long as the fairy room is open. All you need to do is fly to it, kill one of the fairies and boom, you'll be revived. Also, if anyone says that killing fairies reduces score, tell them I said they're stupid and dumb. That is just a false rumor and has, to my knowledge at least, never been true. In the floor 5 boss against Livid, you can only win if you kill the correct one. But what many people don't know is that it's extremely simple to determine the correct one. Just look up at the ceiling. Whichever color wool you see, that's also the color of the correct Livid. And no, I didn't steal this from the most recent Hellcastle for eboy video, I've planned to include it in this for a while. Most people already know this one, but if you hold right click and spam left click, you shoot a lot faster with Jujus and Terminators. And also this thing also works with this thing. This one's gonna be a bit longer, but very important. How many secrets can you actually miss for an S+, plus? well, S+, plus is only really worth getting on floors 5 through 7, because the first 4 have no bonus reward for it over S. On floor 5, there is a maximum possible score of 305. Each secret counts for 1 point. Additionally, getting 5 crypts will also reward the team with 1 point, and the score required for S+, plus is of course 300. So, you can miss a total of 5 secrets if you get 5 crypts, or 4 secrets and crypts if you don't. On floor 6 and 7, it's a bit different though. The addition of the mimic raises the maximum score to 307, and instead of being a normal secret, it counts for 3 points. 
One for opening it and two for actually killing it. At least I think so. That's what the wiki says, don't kill me if I'm wrong. In the worst case scenario you should always assume you forgot Mimic, unless you know you didn't. Anyways, by forgetting the Mimic the maximum possible score becomes 304. So in the end it's basically the same as 4-5. You can skip 5 secrets or 4 secrets and crypts. However, if you know you've killed the Mimic you can skip a total of 7 secrets or 6 secrets and crypts. This is all assuming no deaths of course. You'll frequently see top players cheese the 4 secret trap room, leaving 3 secrets behind because that room otherwise takes way too long just to get 3 secrets. Ok enough math for now. You know when you wanna warp somewhere but that one random mob combat tags you? And then you have to wait for like 10 seconds to get out of combat? Just warp forge. Seriously, this command is amazing. You can warp even if you're in combat, which especially helps with frag running. While we're at the forge, let me ask you this. Do you actually use it? As in, do you forge stuff every day? If you're not doing that, you're seriously missing out on a lot of free profit. Just go through the recipes you've unlocked and do some math to see what's worth forging and what isn't. I've been using this every day for like half a year now and, I'm not even exaggerating when I say this, have easily made over 1 billion coins doing so. All by just looking at what's worth to forge and doing so every day. Some more financial advice. When you're purchasing items from the auction house in bulk, always check if there's a cheaper option than lowest bin. What I mean by this is that someone could have a stack of let's say 3 of them for cheaper than if you were to buy the 3 cheapest ones on the auction house. Similarly, oftentimes enchanted baked potatoes are cheaper than hot potato books. This isn't by much, but it's something. Of course this means nothing if you don't actually have the recipe though. The profit margins on this one aren't very impressive, but there are other items like this to which you can buy the materials for from the auction house or bazaar and just craft them yourself for much cheaper. So the next time you buy something which you have the recipe unlocked to, check how much the materials cost before buying it blindly. If you just started out, you can make some free money by buying cobblestone from the builder and just insta selling it on bazaar. You can only buy 640 items from NPCs each day though, so keep that in mind. This limit increases to 6400 when Diaz is mayor. If you've got any wither armor variant and you're sick of the full set bonus, you can just disable it by middle clicking on any of the armor pieces like so. You'll hear a loud wither sound when you've done it successfully. Eat these every 2 days. While you may get type 2 diabetes very quickly, it's worth the stat boost, trust me. If you need somewhere to eat them at, your boy has them on his island. Slash IS Powliner. Please visit me, I need that social level 10 so that I can have item display cases. Lastly, if you're ever uncertain about something or want to learn more about how an item works, just look it up on the wiki. Seriously, the Skyblock wiki is a great source of information and it's constantly being updated with new info. That's pretty much it. I have something pretty cool in the works so that's probably gonna be the next upload. Might not though, I'm not entirely sure yet. Ok, goodbye now. Thank <laughs> you.